Hello Gemini and welcome to my channel Green Line Goddess. This is your fortnightly reading for August the 1st through to the 15th. Leo energy, Leo season. So this is a general reading. It may or may not resonate. If it does resonate, there will be an extended reading in Vimeo. The link is in the description box below. We'll delve in deeper into these energies, have a look at the future beyond this. So let's see, what do we have? Judgment card has just come out for you, Gemini. So judgment is crossed by the hanged man. And justice, wow, three major arcanas. The page of pentacles, the nine of cups. I've got cat hair on here for my cats have been on here. The empress in the near future, the five of swords. The Three of Wands, the Sun, and the Four of Swords. Wow, okay. Nice, beautiful energy. At the bottom we have the Queen of Cups, finding fulfillment, looking for something that's going to fulfill you long term. We have a message from Soul and Spirit for Gemini. Nurturing yourself as well with that Queen of Cups energy. Knowing how to nurture and look after yourself. Okay, what message do we have for Gemini from Soul and Spirit as an overarching energy and message? We have Firefly. Beautiful, beautiful air energy. Suits you, Gemini. Okay, so let's kick off this reading with a message from the Angels. And straight up we've got the card reconsider reconsider there's something in your life you need to reconsider so that's the message that they want to start the reading with and we'll see where that leads but that probably will make more sense to you right at this moment in time so let's start the reading we have judgment crossed by the hanged man two major arcana something big happening in this situation there's a lot of big changes, a lot of stuff coming up here, uh, stuff to be cleaned out, um, a lot of judgment, uh, self-criticism. There's just a lot of things coming up here that there's a big rebirth, a big change coming through. But it's hard to surrender to that. It's hard to let to go through with that process because it is bringing a lot of stuff up here with this hanged man energy coming through. So... It's being blocked by the hanged man, not wanting to surrender and, and go with these changes, allow this to be cleansed and cleaned out, this energy of the judgment, and to step into the new energy that's being presented, the rebirth that's being presented here with the judgment card. We have on crowning you the conscious mind energy, the justice card, and this is very much like saying no no, that's not in my, this isn't in my contract. I'm not doing that. Uh, I'm. This isn't fair. And so there is a very strong resistance, this justice energy to this process that's happening at this moment in time. There's very much a sense of, um, no, that's not right. It's not right what's happening. So, yeah, it's... It's, again, it's not going with the flow because they're seeing that there's something unfair or not right about the process that's happening here of all these things that are coming up and out and being brought up to the surface. Judgments that could be made as well. We could be talking about legal ju judgments. Justice card can represent contracts and legalities as well. At the base of the issue, we have the Page of Pentacles. So this is... You know, something that you're seeing, okay, I have been presented with this opportunity. What do I want to do with this? Is this something I really want here? Uh, it's like, what is this? What is this that's being presented? This is a deeper down energy. So there's, it's examining what's on offer here, really. There's um, deep down, there's this sense of, just checking it out, checking out what this is. Um, there's an unsurety around this that I'm feeling with this page of pentacles. But it's not saying yes, it's not saying no. It's really just sussing out what this is on offer here. 
what's going on deep down because there does feel like there's definitely almost feels like I'm almost pressured into a change and you're not ready for. And it's kind of like, well, I need to know what it is that I'm moving towards or what this is first. So there is that kind of energy to it. In the recent past, we have the Nine of Cups. And it's funny, you got the reconsider <laughs> card now that we this is coming out. Um, we've got the Nine of Cups in the recent past. Things were looking good in the past. There was happiness and fulfillment. Things were all lined up. There was order in your world, in your emotional world. So why would you want to suddenly throw a bomb into that and create all this chaos with this judgment energy? Why would you want that? Yeah, I was happy. I'm happy how I am. I don't need to change. I don't want this enforced change. I don't want this rebirth energy that's being presented to me. I don't necessarily want this, what's on offer here. So yeah, there's recent past things were good. Things were looking good. But in the near future, we have the Empress. And here is the abundance that's coming through here. This is kind of what's on offer. There's something bigger and better on offer here. And it's just a resistance to moving into that. With the Empress, it's manifestation, it's fertility, it's harvest, it's uh, expansion. There's a lot of the world's, ex your world is expanding. And I feel like that's what it is, it's resistance to the expansion that's occurring here. And, you know, with any expansion, there is a cleaning out, there is that judgment, there is that day of reckoning. So there is, and I feel like it's kind of like resisting that because, you know, just wanting to stay in the comfort zone, really. You don't want to necessarily move into this bigger arena, this bigger area, but it is so much better on the other side. <laughs> the grass is greener. It is, this Empress energy is really great coming through here. It's bringing through a lot of abundance. So you in the situation, we have the Five of Swords, conflict, um, petty one-upmanship, um, uh, one uh, winning the competition, kind of telling people, no, no, uh, I don't want to do this, warding them off, um, you know, feeling like you've won, you've won a small battle but you haven't won the war because the war is that judgment card that's leading you to something bigger and better. So it's almost like a um, not being able to see the bigger picture, being caught up in a battle or a conflict that is actually not, not really aiding you here. So there is conflict. There is conflict around you, you're creating conflict or you're conflicted around this. So, yeah, the, feeling conflicted. The energy surrounding you is the three of wands, so there is growth, there is success here, there's uh, there's um, results coming in here that are positive. So, and the next stage would be the thing with the three of wands is you've reached a stage of completion, there has been success, but it's time to move on to the next stage of the journey. And that's where I feel like there's a resistance moving in not wanting to move forward into that next stage for whatever reason, Gemini. I don't know why. So we'll look at this a little bit deeper because um, when we go into the deep read, there's often these other energies and things that come out that are not in this reading that will explain a few things. Uh, but we have, you know, hopes and hopes and fears. The Sun card, yes, you do want clarity. You do want this breakthrough. So when a part of you does want you this and the new opportunities, you do want. Ha just want to be happy at the end of the day. You just want to be happy. And I guess it's kind of like saying, I feel like I'm happy now. So why would I move into this other thing where I'm not sure if I'm going to be happy? So yeah, it's a big question of what is going to nurture you, what is going to bring you fulfillment, what is going to bring you that happiness. But ultimately, I think, you know, the end result, the outcome is the four of swords, which is needing to let go of the conflict for the moment and find a space where you can contemplate and find some stillness, a period of recovery, some could be meditation, contemplation, could be resting, getting some good sleep, could be recovering from illness. This is a, some time out. You need some space in order to stop fighting this for the moment, stop fighting other people, whatever it is and stop resisting and to be able to look at the story that's being presented to you, go into a quiet space, a stillness, and see what's actually 
what is actually the story here? Maybe the story needs to be rewritten. Maybe the story needs to be understand understood from a different perspective. So there is this need to ha- to take this time out with this four of this four of swords energy. And it's interesting because the message from soul and spirit is the firefly. And when you step into that energy where you're still, that's where you'll have these moments of illumination. That's where you get these messages. That's where you'll get these insights. That's where you get these flashes of brilliance even. And so the universe is asking you to be still so you can receive this. And they're just momentary Mo- they're just momentary. They're only small flashes with the firefly, but one small flash can be enough to change your life. So moments of realisation that are coming through for you, Aquarius. So, yeah, reconsider. Reconsider a, um, a position that you might or a stance that you might have taken here because it's saying that... Um, what is on offer could actually be good and there could be something, maybe release the conflict and then you can move into that empress energy. So, yeah, you can see how, we'll see where this goes because we'll look at it a bit deeper in the deep read and pull out some more cards because it always brings out more flavour, more complexity to it and sometimes paints a, a very different picture. So if you'd like to join me over there, Gemini, the, the link is in the description box below. If this is where I leave you, it's all good. I would say there's actually a lot of really good stuff on offer here and um, it's just a matter of being open to that and finding that stillness and those moments of realisation and taking some time to replenish yourself and recover and so that the, there is hop- ha- happiness on offer and fulfilment on offer here, whether you believe it or not. So I hope that makes sense for some of you guys. If I leave you here, please like, subscribe and leave a comment. Take care, Gemini. Bye.